Good afternoon, this is Debbie Davis. It is uh, November 25th. I, I just wanted to do a video explaining the video that I just uploaded uh, regarding the situation. Uh, I just wanted to explain more that just how crazy the situation is here. Um, I've talked about this uh, with my uh, my friend John, um, how he, he still hasn't gotten care. He's got two bulging discs. He can't afford this one uh, surgery. So he's really not able to be a caregiver for his mother, who is a stroke victim. She can't do anything for himself, for herself. And then um, they don't have a, like a full-time nurse. And, and But then there's been some volunteer nurses that have been helpful. But uh, instead of his sisters working with him, they're working against him. Um, they're not uh, so... But it's, it's, it's more than that. It's, it's a situation where some nurses have actually felt very uncomfortable being there around his sisters. They've made, um, they've caused some of the nurses that are volunteers to be very uncomfortable, like they don't want them there. Um, they, Sarah, his one um, sister, Lisa, got caught trying to do a fake power of attorney. So John has, you know, when you are the main caregiver, you have something called a power of attorney over this person's care. And he had gotten, you know, it's signed by his mother. She was in, she was in um, her right mind. Uh, it was, there was like four witnesses and he has a, a power of attorney. And it's like his sisters are threatened by that or upset with that or whatever. It's like they're always trying to just come in and take over. And, um... You know they're just real controlling type behavior but um, I um, and so the, the nurses are just not even wanting to come because of the situation is just uh, not comfortable with his sisters and he can't really provide care so I felt like I had to do something um, and so I made this phone call today and and you know this this could happen to to a lot, you know, I think a lot of elderly people are in situations where they could be possibly um, in in danger, and um, and John is trying. To, John of is not the person that I'm reporting. Uh, he he has they his sisters have also done things to him where where he's trying to get care for himself or like go do errands to get things for his mom, and they have actually called the state on him and reported him for negligence just because he was trying to do errands, picking up things for his mom and getting the care that he needed for this back thing that he has going on. So they have actually uh, called the state on him and tried to re report him for uh, negligence. Uh, so, you know, I would say, you know, I would say that, that that's a family that's just not working together and that's a, a, you know a situation basically for disaster that I felt like was happening and then these nurses don't feel comfortable coming so I felt like it was a situation where uh, I felt like I had to call um, I think I there's other elderly people too that I feel that are in dangerous position in, da, that are possibly in a lot of danger where you know somebody comes in and they can they can take over and be like a guardian for this person and they start you know taking over all of their states and all this stuff i think it's happening in a lot more places than um than we think but um this is be this is a situation where his his sister actually got caught trying to do a fake power of attorney his sister's name is lisa Turnhome, and uh he got a call they have um this there they have a situation where after his brother died, um, Chris, who was a state representative, his, him and his dad apparently had a bunch of business deals together. But then when his, uh, when his brother died, his father couldn't do the business deals alone. So he ended up doing one of these reverse mortgages on the house, you know, to handle some of the debt or something. And so, uh, um, they have something a reverse mortgage through AAG reverse mortgage company you know where they owe some part of it is collateral for the house not the whole amount 
but uh, it makes it a, a tricky situation because if the if the if the uh, mother is to go into a nursing home, um, then the bank comes in and, and goes does the reverse mortgage process or something like that. So that's why he's been trying to just be a caregiver at the house. So they the bank will come in and do the reverse mortgage. He's trying to get the reverse mortgage part paid off so they can just sell the house so that it'll be free of, free of that. And so that's what he's been trying to work on and be just a full-time caregiver, not getting paid. And uh, just try to... But um, he had gotten a phone call uh, a while back, like a, a year and a half ago, from this AAG reverse mortgage company, and his sister Lisa was caught trying to do a fake power of attorney to take over his real power of attorney. This is called a white collar crime. Uh, and so, you know, there's a lot of red flags going on uh, it, regarding the situation here. Um, I'm just, you know, sitting in this situation, you know, as a friend, um, and you know, I've personally just had a situation with my own father where he just passed away from dementia. And, you know, they do really make it, they make it so hard just to try to take good care of your elderly parents. And, you know, his system is just so, such a mess. And then even, you know, and I, and I was trying to get him in a nursing home because he is a veteran. He is a 20 year, he did 20 years in the Air Force. And even uh, the veterans nursing homes were almost just as, just as expensive as the other ones. And so I feel like they make it super hard to try to just take good care. And then if you don't work together as a family, like you're fighting amongst family, then it's just like exasperates the whole thing. But, um, but that was really hard before he passed just to do the basic care for him as he, you know, was suffering from dementia. So I'm sure people can relate to this situation, but you know, when you have a situation where you have family members trying to do fake power of attorneys and um, making nurses feel uncomfortable that are just coming in to help, then uh, I feel like this is a more serious situation and that, um, that I feel like that it's more of a, an abuse situation and where these people are, are vulnerable at this point. You know, I, I can't come in and do full-time care. You know, you know, there, there's people that have tried and there was one lady that volunteered for, for two months without getting paid and, um, a retired nurse, but there's people that have not felt comfortable coming back and because of the way that the sisters have acted. So, I just wanted to explain why I um, just did this video and you know I, I know I, I think there just needs to be awareness that I think a lot of people are in vulnerable situations that are elderly and you know could very easily like you know people come in and like take everything without them because they're just you know they're they're in vulnerable situations and 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 they make it so hard to take care of the, your vulnerable elder, elderly um, elderly parents too so I just wanted to explain why I did that phone call and hopefully something will happen I don't really know what the solution is you know I just know that that uh, there's he's not really in a state where he can provide care because she needs to be actually lifted uh, to uh, you know because so she doesn't get bed sores and lifted you know into the cat you know, when you have to put that bed pan underneath and all that stuff, and he can't lift because he has a back injury. So, I, you know, I don't know, what do you do in a situation like this? Something needs to uh, happen. Some Something needs to, some situation, something needs to be, um, to be done, and I don't know what the solution is. So that's why I made that phone call. And uh, so hopefully, you know, we'll s see what happens here, but um, I, um, anyway, uh, so there's more going on with me, but I'm not going to discuss some of that other things right now, but just wanted to explain that video.